hello welcome back to my channel so today we are going to talk about rachel and doug from this season of love after lockup so rachel she is a new to dating inmates this is actually the third inmate she's dated but she's like the third time's a charm and she thinks she has the right one this time and they're just gonna be together forever even though her other two inmate relationships failed terribly so she claims she has her head on straight and her goals and priorities in check. She says she's the type of person who follows the rules and colors and the lines. And she was even in the Marine Corps for four years and she's never been in trouble with the law. So she is like the complete opposite of Doug is what it sounds like. So when it comes to relationships though, Rachel has always been into bad boys. She says she get, started getting on prison websites. Um, when she said that she couldn't find love in real life and she didn't think she was going to be able to find an accountant that can give it to her the way she wants it in bed and she just thinks that's what true romance is. Like I can say from experience that is not true. I mean sex is important but that shouldn't be like the number one top thing in the, a relationship. So Rachel was talking on the phone with Doug and Doug, he was getting on to Rachel, saying that she babies his son and told Rachel, hey, do you need me to start barking orders again? But she was just like laughing like she thought it was cute or something. It was weird. And so, like I was embarrassed for her hearing him talk like that. So Doug's son, he moved in with Rachel while Doug was in prison. And Rachel said that Doug is very controlling and loves to bark orders at her. And she thinks it's cute and she considers it it's him flexing. And I'm just like, girl, you may think that's cute over the phone, but once he starts doing that in real life, you're going to be over it. So, um, Rachel says Doug, he's never been a full functioning member of society as an adult because he spent most of his adult life locked up. So Rachel, she was hanging out with her friends and her friends were saying that Doug sounds like a six and a half foot tall baby because they heard Doug on the phone barking orders at Rachel and they didn't think it was cute like she did. So Doug was locked up for a drive-by and his first arrest was for home invasion when he was 17 and he has been incarcerated for over 11 years now. So this dude is kind of reminding me of like how Quaylen was locked up at a young age so I bet when he comes out of prison, he's going to have a super childish attitude who really doesn't have much sense of the world because he hasn't experienced adult life outside of prison in the free world. So, um, he just, in his attitude already, it just comes across to me as childish. So, Rachel was bragging about his arrest like it was just so cool and it was just, I was just sitting there rolling my eyes. So, Rachel and Doug, they got married about four months ago while Doug was in prison nine months into their relationship even though they have been married for four months they have yet to hook up because you can't have conjugal visits in the state of michigan where they live in so rachel says she has touched the goods though and she didn't want to go into detail about how that went to place <laughs> so like i said early in this video rachel takes care of doug's son dougie and a month after rachel and doug got married Doug's eight-year-old son moved in with Rachel and that was a big adjustment because Rachel doesn't have kids and she was always used to just taking care of herself. So that was quite the adjustment for her but Rachel says she enjoys taking care of Doug and um, she says she intends on adopting Doug's son in the future and her and Doug are planning to try to start having babies ASAP as soon as he gets out of prison. So the son, like at the very beginning of the show when we first saw Rachel and Doug's son interacting, she was like coming into his room checking in on him like, are you okay? And he's like, yeah, stop asking me. And so then she also asked him, like he was playing video games and she's like, hey, can we talk for a minute? And he didn't want to put down the controller and she's like, you know, you're not even supposed to be playing video games and your dad doesn't want you playing video games so we're probably gonna have to hide that from your dad when he gets out but I you know really don't care I just want you to be happy and she was also saying that hey how do you feel about your dad about to get out of prison let's talk about it and Doug's son was like I'm not gonna hug him and I'm gonna punch him for not taking care of his kids <laughs> so this kid I mean this kid sounds smart but he sounds like that he's you know probably kind of struggling deep down because his father hasn't been in his life 
And then, what is up? She had, like, nine pounds of bologna, and she had, like, two or three of them. She had lots and lots of bologna ready for Doug when he gets out of prison. What do you guys think about all that bologna? Like, when I was locked up, and I... I never was big on bologna sandwiches, but when you're locked up, you know, and you're hungry, you gotta eat what you gotta eat. And as soon as I got out of jail, I swear I can I can't eat ramen noodles or um, bologna sandwiches no more. I just can't do it after having it too much in jail. And the last time I was in jail was over six years ago, and I still can't hack a bologna sandwich. I just cannot do it. So Rachel says Doug wants the four B's. He wants some Prestices, some non-alcoholic booze, BJ's, and bologna. So, I don't know. I've been trying to make my predictions in all these videos that I think these couples are going to stay together and be together still at the end of the season. I can't honestly make a prediction because I have not seen enough of this couple yet. Like, I couldn't even find enough pictures for the two of them for the video. It's like I got to keep using the same four pictures over again because I, their scene was kind of short in the last episode. So like I said, I can't really make a prediction, but they are married and she is taking care of his son. So I feel like they're a little bit more serious compared to the other couples because they have a child involved. And it's going to be a little harder for him to just get up and leave because not only is he going to have to get up and leave, but he's going to have to get up and leave and find a place for his son. And so far, things have been going good with his son staying with Rachel. So, I don't know, unless they have a lot of problems and stuff like that. Which I really hope not, because this kid, he's already been through a lot. He's living with Rachel because his biological mother, she is going through it and she's on drugs. So it's not a good environment for him to be living with his mom. And it's just impossible because she's on drugs right now. So I feel bad for that kid. So hopefully this Doug guy will get out and, you know, grow up and take care of his son. But I do have to give Rachel props for stepping up and being a positive um, mom role in his life when she didn't have to do all that so that says a lot for her but that's it for this video let me know what you guys think about this couple in the comments below do you guys think they're going to be together by the end of the season um, and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss it as soon as I drop another video thank you so much for watching